Boxing is one of the hardest sports to master because it requires a lot of different training drills and methods. This is a complete guide in order to become better at boxing. It breaks down everything from defense to footwork and reflex mastery. The first thing you need to improve to get good at boxing is your footwork. Every great boxer like Manny Pacquiao and Muhammad Ali had great footwork. Good footwork helps you to close in towards your opponent or fall back quickly which is very important especially if you want to start competing. You should be light on your feet and have the ability to move around your opponent fast without losing your balance. In order to get better footwork, the best thing you can do is get in a proper boxing stance and learn how to move sideways and forward without making mistakes. You should also start incorporating ladder drills to your training routine because it can help your footwork get faster. Shadow boxing while focusing on footwork can also be beneficial since you can do it anywhere without equipment. A good tip is to learn how to go in and out fast while shadow boxing because it is really effective in fights and many people neglect it. Footwork is easy to master compared to other things. Let's talk about another thing you need to master in order to become a better boxer. It is better head movement. One thing Mike Tyson and Canelo Alvarez had in common was their exceptional head movement. Head movement is the pillar of defense. But head movement can be very useful in situations where you are cornered and you don't want to get knocked down. Head movement can also save you from devastating blows and create an opportunity when your opponent drops their guard after punching. A few drills to improve head movement for boxing are using a slip bag, mitt work, or a slip line. Slip line is very effective because all you need is boxing wraps or a rope. You can tie it across a room and learn how to roll or slip punches. For example, you can do a roll, pivot, and then throw a jab cross hook combo. Slip bag is also a very effective training drill since you can throw boxing combinations while practicing your head movement. And mitt work is of course the most effective drill because you have to use your head movement while throwing boxing combinations. At last, partner drills are really effective for head movement too. Remember head movement can take time to master, so you have to stay consistent with these training drills. The tip number three to get better at boxing is to improve your speed and agility. Speed is very essential in boxing, especially if you are in lighter weight divisions, because your opponent will be fast too. Ryan Garcia and Amir Khan are a few boxers who are exceptionally fast and won a lot of their fights because of their speed. You need to get fast at three things for boxing. The first one is punching speed, the second is defensive speed, and lastly, footwork speed. We already covered footwork speed. In order to improve punching speed, the best thing you can do is shadow boxing with light dumbbells or resistance bands. You can feel a noticeable difference in your hand speed after you start shadow boxing with dumbbells for a few minutes. Second tip to improve your hand speed is opening your hands slightly while punching and closing them when you hit the target. This works very well, especially for jabs, and is a common thing used by most professional boxers. Okay, let's move on to defensive speed now. The best thing you can do to improve defensive speed is shadow boxing and using your head movement really quick. Mitt work is also an effective way to develop both offensive and defensive speed together, and footwork is also used while doing it. The fourth thing you need to master in order to improve at boxing is your reflexes. It is one of the most important things for boxing. You use reflexes when you are sparring or performing mitt work. You need good reflexes in order to improve your defense and head movement too. Reflexes can be improved through fast mitt work training, sparring, or using the reflex bag. Mitt work and sparring are the best ways, but reflex bags can work well too. Using the reflex bag can be effective for hand-to-eye coordination or quick reflexes. So if you have access to a reflex bag, it is an effective way to train. Reflexes are also improved over time when you gain more experience sparring against different opponents. Let's talk about the fifth tip in order to get better at at boxing, which is mitt work. Mitt work is one of the most important drills in combat sports like boxing or mixed martial arts because it improves everything like speed, reaction time, defense, and reflexes. Mitt work is the most common drill used by boxers in the world because it is not as demanding as sparring and it is the most effective way to train. Doing mitt work anywhere from two to four times is enough. You just need someone to hold the mitts for you. If you have someone who can hold the mitts, you can get better faster than most people who box. Your main goal while doing mitt work should be to get faster and try to improve your reaction time. Let's talk about the sixth tip in order to get better at boxing, which is shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is the best and the most effective way to train. If you are alone and don't have any equipment around you, shadow boxing can help perfect your form technique and speed, which are very essential. Shadow boxing is one of the oldest boxing drills and it is still used by many fighters. Doing it for 10 to 20 minutes every day is enough if your goal is to get better at boxing. A tip to get better at shadow boxing is to do it in front of a mirror and record yourself so you can see what mistakes you made and work on them. Let's talk about another thing you need to master in order to improve at boxing. It is quick decision-making skills and better ring intelligence. Boxing is a sport where your opponent will be constantly trying to knock you down, so you need to make quick and good decisions. Even if you aren't good at boxing, if you make quick and well decisions in a fight like falling back or charging in at the right time, you will have a chance of winning. 
The next tip to improve at boxing is learning how to block punches and defend yourself. The main point of boxing is to hit without getting hit. Learning how to block punches is very useful because there are many situations where you can't rely on head movement or fall back. Here is a quick breakdown of what to do against different types of punches. If someone is throwing a hook, you need to keep your hand up similar to how you pick up a phone call. To block an uppercut, you need to keep your hands close to each other and crouch down slightly. Make sure that your hands are tight so you don't open up your guard easily after the uppercut. To block a cross, the best thing you can do is use your hands to stop it. You can use a high guard sometimes, but blocking a jab or cross is simple. To block body shots, you need to use your elbows and move your body slightly. Let's move on to tip number 9 on how to improve at boxing. It is improving your punching power and accuracy. Punching power is a very important aspect of boxing. If you got good punching power, you could knock out someone with one blow. To improve punching power, the best tip is to learn how to punch properly. In order to punch the right way, you need to pivot your legs while rotating your hips so you can get more power in your punch. You also need to extend your arms completely so you can generate full power in your punch. Let's move on to accuracy which can be improved through mitt work and sparring. If you want better accuracy, you should also learn how to punch with different boxing gloves because it can feel harder to punch with lighter gloves and you are used to heavier ones. You need to learn how to use both because you won't be wearing 16 ounce gloves in a fight. At last, practicing different types of punches on the heavy bag can be really effective for both punching power and accuracy. Let's move on to tip number 10, which is using the heavy bag. Bag work is the most common form of training in boxing, and there are many things you can improve from it. You can improve your stamina if you keep spamming punches on the heavy bag, and you can also improve your form. It is also a drill used by every professional boxer. The 11th tip to improve at boxing is doing road work and sprints. This is something people neglect a lot because road work can get boring after a while. Road work is the most common way to build stamina and improve your breathing. Every boxer you look up to did a lot of road work in order to get better. Running about one to three times a week is enough, but the main thing you have to focus on is keeping a track of how many miles you run each time and keep increasing it gradually. Once you can run about five miles, you will be at a good point. Sprints can also be very effective since they can be a part of interval training. Sprints can push your body to get used to high intensity tasks, which is useful for boxing. Just go to a field and start doing sprints at least one or two times a week and go outside and run for a few minutes. I'm not trying to complicate this. The 12th tip to improve at boxing is sparring. Sparring is the closest thing you can replicate to a fight, and it is the best way to try out new combinations and defensive skills you learned on a real opponent. Sparring also teaches you how to deal with pressure, and it puts you in new situations so you eventually learn how to deal with it. Sparring one to three times a week is more than enough. You should do light sparring because hard sparring can be bad for your health and cause injuries unless you are trying to prepare for a fight. Hard sparring is fun, but most people don't need to do it often. Sparring also improves your accuracy and helps you build experience a lot because you will be training against people who use different stances like orthodox or southpaw. A very useful thing you can improve from sparring is your stamina and your durability. Let's talk about the next tip to improve at boxing, which is working on strength and conditioning. Strength and conditioning workouts are very commonly used by boxers, especially in the past few years, because it has many benefits. It is true that most old school boxers did not lift weights, but they did a lot of push-ups or pull-ups. Let me cover the best exercises you can do to build strength as a boxer. You should do pull-ups or lat pull-downs for back. For chest, the best exercises are weighted push-ups or inclined bench. For legs, the best exercises are squats. And for shoulder and tricep, you should do shoulder press or tricep push-down. For bicep, the best exercise is bicep curl or preacher curls. The best workout split, if your goal is to improve at boxing, at a very fast rate is doing two full body workouts with one plyometrics day. Plyometrics are more effective than lifting weights to improve your boxing performance because they target the main muscles and it builds strength and explosiveness. A few examples of plyometrics are box jumps or landmine press. If you follow this split, you will be building some muscle while improving at boxing. It won't make you stiff like a bodybuilder. Most professional boxers use this split. At last, you should be training your core by doing a lot of crunches and leg raises because it builds better durability and improves your punching power, which is important for boxing. Most of your punching power comes from your core and legs, so training them are more important than training biceps or chest. You just have to keep it simple. Find the best exercises that work well for you and do them. You don't need to be changing your workout often. The next tip to get better at boxing is getting good at counter punching and utilizing the jab well. Counter punching is really important for boxing, so you need to be able to react quick and hit your opponent at the right time. You can get better at it by shadow boxing and visualizing an opponent in front of you and even sparring. Jabs are also really important for boxing because it can help you set up punches so you can knock out your opponent or control the distance in a fight. The best thing you can do to master the jab is to practice it on the heavy bag and try to get as fast as you can. 
So the last tip to get better at boxing is to stay consistent and watch more fights or analysis videos. Most people who start boxing quit within a couple months because they don't see results, but in my opinion, you improve the most when you stick around for at least six months to a year and a half of boxing. If you want to speed up the process and get better as fast as you can, watching boxing fights can help you out a lot since you are learning. Just watch some boxing highlights if you don't have time to watch a long fight, and you will start to pick up different things from experienced boxers. You can also watch some sparring sessions at your gym and get an idea of what they are doing wrong or right and learn from it. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video.